It's time for Around the Ozarks News, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, good morning to you on uh, Tuesday, just your uh, average ordinary Tuesday. Yeah, no big deal, no big deal. Nothing going on here today. Nothing to see uh, here. Just a run-of-the-mill Tuesday. I'm super excited. Election day is here. Yeah. So polls open in an hour in Missouri. So get out and get the vote out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, let's do the news. Let's do it. Okay. Um, tens of millions will make their choices at polling places all over the country. Uh, 70 million people have voted early. That's interesting. 70 million um, voted early, including about 300,000 in Missouri. So polls open again at 6 a.m. They close at 7 o'clock tonight. Voters will have to show a photo ID to vote if anyone needs a ride to the polls. The utilities is offering free bus service. <laughs> I thought you were going to offer. If anybody needs a ride to the polls, give I'll me a take holler. You. Let me know your address. I'll come <laughs> get you. Uh, that's funny. Uh, uh, so it is election day. Uh, who knows when the results will be in? It looks like regardless of how the presidential race goes, there will be lawsuits involved. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I will. Maybe we'll know the winner by tonight. I don't think so. I, I do. So. Maybe tomorrow morning while we're, uh, while we're doing the post election updates, we'll, uh, we'll have a winner. Uh, uh, m- most of the Missouri stuff we'll know, but it's just that president thing, that pesky presidency. Uh, we, uh, we, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and then there's this, a, a tragic story out of, uh, Missouri state football, really sad, a high school player that the bears were recruiting, lost his life in a house fire in mm. Greenwood, Arkansas, 18 year old Isaiah Arrington was killed in that fire along with his mother and his sister. Really, really tragic. Bears head coach Ryan Beard spoke with Isaiah's coach and offered his condolences on behalf of Missouri State University. So, sad deal. Wow. That, by the way, is where my sisters are from. My two younger sisters are from and, uh, Arkansas. I bet they know that family because they are still they still go to high school football games. Right. And they have, you know, yeah. kids there now. So mm. Yeah, they've got a good football team over there, typically. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're always very, very good. Wow. Wow. Um, Did you see this? A big tornado outbreak in Oklahoma City area injured several people, destroyed a lot of houses. Video pretty unbelievable out of OKC. As many as seven tornadoes hit that area. Springfield-based Convoy of Hope is going to respond with some relief supplies. Uh, That is my old stomping ground. And I heard some reports from friends. It sounds like everybody survived to tell about it, but... uh, Looks like some others, people who I do not know, I should say, are are injured. Yeah, fortunately, no fatalities that that we know of, at least to this point. So that was one good thing that came out of that. But yeah, I saw the the video of that, and our our crews are there distributing relief supplies now. Uh, the mayor of Billings is accused of lying about where she lives so that she could run for and hold office there. Uh, Melissa Venable is charged with a felony accused of not actually living in Billings, which is a prerequisite for holding office. She was elected to that office back in April. I think she ran unopposed. Ten people are cited on the probable cause documentation uh, saying that she actually lives in Marionville. Venable denies the allegations, says she's lived in Billings for 20 years, but she is charged with a felony, so uh, that will be a court case that goes forward. Hmm. And then uh, $10 million over the next seven years, that is how much uh, several sporting events are expected to bring to our area. The Springfield Sports Commission put out that number and said it's working to bring in 17 sporting events that are already lined up, which will uh, bring people to town. They'll spend money in hotels and restaurants and you know all the stuff that they do. Uh, which is the whole point of trying to get its sporting events in town. Right. Um, All right. So not so great economic news on this election day. U.S. job creation was down in October. Non-farm payrolls only rose by 12,000 jobs after 223,000 jobs created in September. 
the unemployment rate in October was 4.1%. That's a big difference. Uh, millions of dollars in revenue sharing money that universities will pay athletes. Uh, now that that is uh, the norm, I guess, legal. Uh, it will come at least in part from fans paying even more to go watch the games. Yep. You, uh, nobody's, they're not going to eat it. It's they're going to pass it on to the fans. That's how it happens. Uh, the latest to announce they will be part of revenue sharing with student athletes is the university of Missouri. MU has already said that ticket prices will be going up. It's kind of a bummer because I had some friends um, wanting to go to a Mizzou game and could not afford the tickets. Now, here's the question I did not ask. Well, how much were the tickets? Um, Because, you know, it varies from game to game depending on who they're playing. But um, that's kind of a bummer for the younger for the younger crowd, you know, well, I, you know, it's, it's already getting out of whack because th- these players, some of them are going to make millions of dollars, Co- college players. The, you know what I mean? And yeah. fans, fans can't afford to go to the games because, well, number one, the universities were making a ton of money, but on top of that, they're, they have to pay these players exorbitant some of them not all of them the majority of them don't make exorbitant amounts of money but they do make money uh and uh a lot of it comes from advertisers who you know that just makes sense they pay the athlete directly is my understanding so that's a separate issue but yeah it's a lot of money changing hands that's for sure yeah it is none of it well, and the whole, I don't know, the way that, I, I mean, I love sports, love sports, but man, that's a, kind of a recipe for disaster to potentially come into millions when you're 18 years old. And Well, yeah, we've seen it happen with pro athletes. There's a, there's a, a Netflix, uh, un, one of those untold documentaries about athletes losing all their money. They don't know how yeah. to handle it. Yeah. It's too much too soon, but that's what's happening. Um, If you want a break from all things election today, how about the midweek matinee? That's fun. It's happening at the Galois, the Gilloys Theater, I should say, the Gilloys. Um, Yes, that is tomorrow. They are showing that darn cat tomorrow. Uh, The show starts at 2 o'clock, but get there early because the doors open at 1, and then they have trivia from Ozark's Elder Law. They do trivia on the big screen. Uh, and it's just fun. We, uh, Ethan and I got to go and check it, check it out one time there at the Gilloys and it's, it's pretty great. Um, that darn cat, by the way, is a film from 1965. I assume that some people know it well, I do not, but, um, it should be fun. Green and Christian County seniors who are 60 plus get a free combo ticket with proof of ID. So it's exciting. Um, yeah, it's fun time, and um, regardless of what happens today, tomorrow is a new day, and it'll be fun with your friends. So go out there yeah. and check them out. Yeah. Um, all right, before we go, I want to tell you one more time about the contest happening right now at AroundTheOzarks.com. You can win Chiefs tickets to the next uh, game at Arrowhead Stadium when the Chiefs play the Raiders. Plus, the winner will get some custom gear From Branson as the official vacation destination of the Kansas City Chiefs. So you get tickets to the game and gear. And uh, you will go to AroundTheOzarks.com and click on um, contest and then scroll down to Branson Bowl. You will need the keyword, Ethan. The keyword is glamping. Keyword is glamping. Glamping. Also known as glamorous camping. (laughs) Um, All right, that's it. And we hope that you enjoy your day. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Always excited on election day. Um, Yeah, there's something about election day. It kind of, there's a little adrenaline rush that goes along with it. There is. Uh, It's like a pep in my step. I'm taking my mom to vote today because she is handicapped. So got to go pick her up and see how long that line will take. Hopefully not too long. 
uh, back um, in the old days when we were in newsrooms, it was always pizza night. The, yes, the I know. I actually missed the newsroom. I wish that Bridget would have called me and put me to work today, but she did not. Uh, I can assure the, you she uh, did not. The newsrooms always have pizza, so it's pizza on election night. It's a yes. it's been a, a staple for a long time. Yeah, maybe we'll go, Ethan, tonight. Maybe so. All right, that'll okay, do it for us. Thank it. you for watching. Thank you for listening. And, uh, well, we'll see you tomorrow. I don't know Big what gulps. we'll know tomorrow morning, nope. but, but see you we'll later. be here. Bye. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Rescue Towing, Command Family Medicine, and John's Heating and Air. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. We are waking up with temperatures in the middle 50s today, and cooler air is on the way. The cold front associated with all those showers and thunderstorms that were loud last night finally moving through today. We will see some cooler weather and we also see rain chances come to an end, which is great news because flooding was a problem across the Ozarks late yesterday and continues to be early this morning. Flood watch will expire at 6 a.m. for most communities, but I want to let you know that there are a few spots that received a whole lot of rain over the last three days. In fact, some spots reporting more than five inches of rain, most of that falling south of I-44. So just know that there could still be some places with high water, water over the road, and that could be an issue on the morning drive. So don't let your guard down, even though the weather is much quieter this morning than what we had late last night torrential rain in some of those thunderstorms and of course a handful of tornado warnings issued for the Ozarks as well. High wind reported across the region and also flooding intense late last night. So better weather for election day if you're heading to the polls today. Not a great day, a windy day to start you out with temperatures in the 50s, but overall this is mild weather temperatures in the middle 50s to start. Highs today will make it to the mid 60s and things by this afternoon should feel much better. We've got the gusty winds out of the south until that cold front actually moves through. Rain is wrapping up and heading out of here today. So I think the sun will actually make an appearance as we head into the afternoon hours. It'll end up being much nicer on Tuesday than the weather conditions we had around yesterday. I have cooler conditions today. As I mentioned, 65 for that high temperature in Springfield. So very close to normal for an early November day. Another active period looks possible, though, as we head into the late parts of the work week. I'm talking primarily Friday and Saturday. That will be another chance for showers and thunderstorms. And with rain in the Ozarks again, well, we could be dealing with a few more flooding concerns as we head into the end of the week, simply because we got so much yesterday and the day before that it's just a little too much to handle here for the early part of November after not receiving nearly a drop of rain all October long. Temperatures today, mid 60s. We will see cooler numbers develop again tonight. No numbers near the freezing point, though. We'll be back down into the low 40s. That's where we start you off on Wednesday. Tomorrow looks like a beautiful day in the Ozarks, full sun, 65 degrees. And we will stay in the middle 60s on Thursday before rain potentially turns returns to the region. That looks to happen by the time we get to Friday. And I see a good signal for rain chances, perhaps widespread in nature again, as we head into Saturday of this weekend. So early heads up on that. I'm keeping an eye on it. There are definitely still time for that to change a little bit. Around the country, the heavy rain and severe weather that we had late yesterday in the afternoon and the evening hours, it is moving east today into the mid-Mississippi Valley. We also have snowfall. You've seen some of those beautiful snow-topped mountains out west. Well, mountain snow and wind is setting up for the central Rockies. That happens late tonight into early Wednesday. And all eyes are on the tropics again, watching South Florida and specifically the Florida Keys again for impacts associated with a potential tropical cyclone that could become a hurricane by tomorrow, which is not what our friends in Florida need uh, as we head into midweek. So keeping a close eye on the tropics again, you're going to be hearing about that system in the national news headlines. 
All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia question for the day. And the question that I had with you yesterday, I know, a burning question on everyone's mind, especially on Election Day, but we just kind of, you know, need a different topic. How many heart chambers does a cockroach have? Do you think it is A, one, B, four, C, eight, or D, 12? Well, they seem like simple creatures, don't they? those cockroaches, uh, but they have quite complex heart structures. So congrats if D12 was your guess uh, and potentially 13, sometimes 12, sometimes 13, depending on who you ask. The cockroach has a tubular heart uh, that some say has as many as 13 chambers. Each one receives oxygenated blood uh, through a pair of of apertures and they have a multi-chambered tube-like heart that is far more resistant to failure than human hearts. Maybe that's why they're so hard to get rid of. I don't know. Congrats if D12 was your guess. That is the correct answer. All right, here is your next chance to win and it's a 50-50 shot. True or false? I don't know about you, but in my house, Daylight saving time is still having big effects here on these toddlers. Uh, true or false, daylight saving time in America was originally implemented to help farmers. Do you think that is true or false? You can take your guess over at the website. That's aroundtheozarks.com. I sure appreciate you listening to Around the Ozarks this morning. If you're heading to the polls today, maybe grab a light jacket. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s, but not too bad. We've definitely had worse weather on election day. Also watch for flooding on roadways early this morning. Otherwise, we have dry conditions setting up for the midweek. Thank you so much to Rescue Towing Command, Family Medicine, and John's Heating and Air for sponsoring Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. We'll chat again early tomorrow.